Hey, Manny. Yes, Dad. Today, I want you to do subtraction. Okay, give me the numbers. First, I want you to do in a standard method. Yeah, great. Yeah, take the numbers. Eight. Eight. Three. Three. Zero. Zero. Two. Two. Six. Six. One. One. Minus. Minus. Five. Five. Four. Four. Nine. Nine. Five. Five. Zero. Zero. Eight. Eight. Yeah, do it. Okay, so I need to borrow. Five and eleven. Three. Five. Um, borrow some. There. And that's a small number, and that's seven. Wow, so seven, zero, mm -hmm. eight, and then two. Here's the answer. Oh, you got it. Okay. So, do you know any other way to do the subtraction? Yeah, I do. Yeah, try it in the other way. Okay. Eight. So, eight. Three. Three. Zero. Zero. Two. Two. Six. Six. One. One. Minus. Minus. Five. Five. Four. Four. Nine. Nine. Five. Five. Zero. Zero. Eight. Eight. Yeah, do it. So my method. Seven bar. Six. Three bar. Nine bar. One bar three. So two nine nine ten and five ten three five seven zero eight and then two. Oh, have you got the same answer? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, can you explain how did you do this one? Oh, this one? So, I did it in a much easier way. So, 1 minus 8. So, I have to borrow in the other way. So, I did. I put 7 here. And then the bar, because I need it later. And then 6, I put normally. And then, and then this would be 3 bar. And then this would be 9 bar. And then this would be one bar. This would be a normal three. And then there's a bar here, so. Oh, just a minute. So, I have to cross this out and it turned into two. And then there's three here, so nine, nine. And then ten here. And then I have, there's a bar over there, so this six turned into five. And then this is ten. So, ten minus seven is three. Five minus. Okay, so we just need to put the 5 here, and then 10 minus 3 is 7, 9 minus 9 is 0, 9 minus 1 is 8, and then 2. So, there's the answer. Oh, okay, okay, good. Okay, so so people who don't know about uh, this, the second method, okay, so this is a, so this is not, it's not a so fancy method, it's a normal method, so one of the normal method, okay. So this, this will actually just, uh, Another way of actually doing subtraction. So that's all. So don't be frightened or don't be surprised. Nothing. Okay. So here, so in the in the standard way, so what do we do is actually just all the borrowing we do is actually just we do the borrowing in case if uh, <coughs> this is not sufficient, the numbers is not sufficient to subtract. We do the borrowing even before doing a subtraction. But here we just bring that borrowing later and the other difference is actually here we just we can subtract only if the the top number is higher okay here we don't consider that so we go in the negative negative in the sense that for example okay so 1 minus 2 in case of 1 minus 2 so we will just think that actually just uh, we were thought that actually just how can you subtract 2 from 1 
yeah so but in the second method we think in a different way yeah we can subtract it it means that we can go in a negative value which is 1 minus 2 that is actually minus 1 so that's the way it go it goes here so on the top the first one so which is 1 minus 8 is actually which we do on the we flip the numbers 8 minus 1 which is 7 since we flipped and we put a to in, to indicate the negative we put one line at the top of the number that is the secret nothing else and then here so we do for all every all the numbers and wherever we flipped or wherever we considered that number is negative we put the one line at the top of the number the top and is this answer that's not the answer because we need to remove all the line on the top of the numbers which means so those numbers are negative okay so now here we do the borrowing so the borrowing in the sense i actually just here the borrowing is easy if the number at the top is has the line that's a negative number that needs some borrowing from the higher digit so very simple so here so he, so if you borrow it so by default everything will come so if it is a first from the right side from the right side if it is a first number with the line on the top that will always get the 10 and the following bar number which is the line number negative numbers will always get the 9 so when we come here so uh, we get here 9 9 10 so here we get the 10 so here we are going to do is simply we are going to do is 10 minus what are the negative number so if it is a not a negative number we write the same number at the bottom we get the answer so the only the difference is here between the first method and the second method is the first method we do the borrowing before subtraction and the second method we do the borrowing later subtraction and on the first method we do one level of subtraction and the second method we do the two level of subtraction and one more thing first method we don't go negative we don't we don't know about the negative number in the second method we consider the negative number we think that the number can go negative and another important thing is so here the subtraction we do it from the numbers from the about 10 which is there are numbers it will go till 19 possible right which is because we are borrowing from the previous number in case of for example the first number which is 1 minus 8 so we borrowed 10 from the higher digit that became 11 which is 11 to 11 minus 8 but in the second method no number will go above 10 all the subtractions are actually done within 10 so we do all all the calculation everything we think only within 10 and its chances of actually making a mistake is little bit reduced but we should be careful here that whether to keep the line at the top whether to keep to keep the indicate the negative number or not that should be very careful in the second method so both have advantage as well as disadvantage just try to know both and which which one is best works for you just keep it up it's better to know more than one okay so many can we do one more bigger subtraction okay yeah uh let's take some random number okay yeah okay. take the numbers yeah, three, three, five, five, seven, seven, six, six, zero, 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 one, one, three, three, nine, nine, six, six, two, two, three, three, five, five, minus, minus, one, one, eight, eight, three, three, five, five, six, six, eight, eight, nine. 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 Three. Three. Zero. 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 One. One. Oh, is it that's it? Yeah. Yeah, do it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I do it in my method? Yeah, do it in your method. What's that? Four. And then three, two, three, zero, oh, six, bar. And then eight four and then eight four six bar one 
four, three, bar, two. So, okay, so two will turn into one, and then ten over here, and then four, okay, so zero, and then this will turn into a uh, Uh, nine, 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 ten. So, okay, now let's do the math. Four here. Three, two, three, zero, four, one. Okay, so one, three, zero, four, seven, one. This is the answer. Yeah, cool. So, one more thing, right? So, in the standard method, so we always do the subtraction from the right. But here, you don't need to do whether from the right or left. Doesn't matter. It will work all the same way. So, only the borrowing, you need to just be careful from uh, getting it from the higher digit method. That's all. So, then careful on the only the line at the top of it to indicate that as a negative number. So, it can, you can do it from the left or right. Yeah, is this a method cool for you? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, learn more methods and also just uh, we will see more cases of this actually some of the uh, small tricks and uh, sm sm small edge cases all these things so that it, this method will be clear. Yeah, better to know more than one method. Yeah, so keep doing math and uh, just follow us and keep doing math with us. You'll be just be better on the numbers. Yep. Bye. Keep it up.